Hello, hello. In this lesson, I would like to show you how to create a mobile app to control our educational IoT smart home. This project is powered by Calliope Mini. And I have two examples of this kind of apps, little apps created here. First one is a little dashboard I can connect on my phone over Bluetooth and uh, the app displays the light value detected by the smart home, the temperature, uh, then I can control the air conditioning fan, I can open and close the door, and I can also control the light inside my uh, smart home. And the second example I have prepared here is a kind of a key lock interface and also here I can connect over Bluetooth and remotely open my uh, smart home by uh, putting in a specific key code. And I can also uh, close the door. But uh, it's not these apps that I wa really wanted to show. It's not that they are fancy and they do anything special. They are really basic just to show the capabilities of things we could do. And I hope that they only will spark your imagination about what else we could do about them. But in this lesson, I would like to show you how to create such app. And for this, I will use nothing else than, of course, an AI chatbot. I will not code the app myself, but I will create it with an assist of, an, of ChatGPT. And this method of coding is already has its name. It's called Vibe Coding. And in a way, I think it's a future of creating software uh, where uh, we do not touch the code ourselves, but everything is done by the AI and uh, you only as the creator tell the AI what you want to achieve. You have to describe your project and AI chatbot does all the technical work for you. And my goal today is to make it as simple for you, uh, to help you as much as I can to start with creating such apps. So we will take few shortcuts here. For example, I have already prepared here the template code for the Kali Apple Mini board, which will communicate with this um, app that we will create. And it's the same code that is already uploaded into the board. And what does it do? Uh, at first on start, we open the Bluetooth UART service. This is the protocol in which we will communicate with the application. Then I set up the NeoPixel strip to start my light, lights module. Then the, these blocks on Bluetooth connected and Bluetooth disconnected, they simply display images on the Calliope Mini LED display so we know that we achieved the connection. And later in the forever loop, we are sending over Bluetooth UART uh, light level with a label X and the temperature with the label uh, Y. So this is how the app receives uh, the values from the Calliope Mini board. And here in this block on Bluetooth data received, process the data that the Calliope Mini board receives from the app. And these data are simple text comments. These are in fact just letters like X, Y, C, D. Of course you can name it however you want. I just chose this letter for, uh, to make it really basic. And for example, if the data received is the letter X, then set the motor to 10%. If the letter received is Y, then set the motor to 0%. So by sending the letters X and Y from the app, by the pushing, pushing of the button, I simply turn on and turn off the motor of, of the fan here. And next is C and D. They set servo to 70 and 175. They open and close the door, and these letters. And then R, G, B, W, and off set the LED pixel to specific colors. Red, green, blue, white, and black. And the last thing was for the key lock uh, application. If the data is the key code 1397, then open the door, play the melody, and uh, blink the, the lights. And if the key code is 0000, then close the door and turn off the light. So this is the example code, the template that you can use. Of course, you don't need all of that. You can remove parts that you feel you will be unnecessary for your project. And you can, of course, modify it any way you want. But I think it's a good place to start. You will find this code example on the project page. And one little caveat, I will get back to this at the end of the video because this is technical stuff. 
is that this project uh, uses specific library that allows us to control the NeoPixel modules and Bluetooth in the same time, which won't work with the standard version of Bluetooth library from the make code. So if you want to use Bluetooth and NeoPixels, please start your work exactly from this example, open it from my web page and uh, make your code upon it because it uses a custom version of this NeoPixel library. Okay, so once you have this downloaded to the um, Kali Oppo Mini, let's get to creating our app and this app will be a web application. And what it means exactly? Uh, in fact, it will be a simple web page opened in a web browser. So um, the only thing we need to create it is to create a basic HTML file. And I have already created a very basic template for you. I can open it in the Chrome browser. And here you see that it's just like a, a minimal, minimal setup. I can click the connect button and connect to the Kali Open Mini board. And with these two buttons, I can open and close the door. And also, let's look a little bit under the hood. When I open the JavaScript console for this web page, uh, you see that the app also receives the data from the Kali Open Mini board, the X and Y labeled data, which was exactly this data that we are sending here, the values from the light level and the temperature. So this template allows us to receive the data from the Kali Open Mini board and send data to control the Kali Open Mini board. And all of the hard work for creating our app will be done by ChatGPT. Of course, you can use any other chatbot uh, that you prefer. In most cases, everything will work exactly the same, but ChatGPT is the most popular and it's it has three versions, so I'm showing it here. And we could start creating our app from scratch, but uh, I think it would be a little bit easier if we just give the chat GPT this template.html. So I simply upload it as a button and I give him this prompt. Look at the template of my web app to control Kali Open Mini Board. Add another section to it to turn on and turn off the lights by sending commands W and OFF with two buttons. And hopefully he will create this code for us. And by the time he creates this code, I will do next thing. I need some kind of a code editor to render HTML uh, websites. And for this, I will use CodePen. And I chose this editor because it is free. It is, av it is available online, so we can op open it in the web browser. And you can very easily host your websites over here when you create a free account. So simply I will take my link created by the chat GPT here, paste it in the code pen. And you see that I have my website already rendered with the new section light on off. And also pay attention that I'm still connected to another instance of my app here. So I'll close it down. So the board will not be occupied by this connection. I'm go I go back to the code pen and here I click connect. I choose my Kali Open Mini board from the window. And yeah, it connected. I have a smiley face on my display. And let's see if I can open and close the door as before. Yes, if this one works. Let's open this and let's see if the lights will set off, turn white and turn off. Okay, so another section of my app works as well with just one little command in um, ChatGPT. Let's improve it a bit. I go back to the chatbot and tell him to add three more buttons, red, green, blue, sending commands RGB. So look that like with a simple fluid language, I can just tell him what I want to achieve and hopefully he will understand it. Let's check it out. But yeah, now he just gave me this little part of the code I wanted to update. I could put it manually somewhere over here, but let's say I, am the, I have no idea what this code is about. So I will just tell him to give me the full code. So now he gave me, gave me the whole website. I can paste it again in the code pen editor. And as you can see, I have these three new buttons. Uh, I have to connect again to Kali Open Mini Board. And let's check it out. On, off, red, green, blue. It works. 
So right now we tested the commands to control the, our robot from our app. Let's try to ask him to add a functionality so he can interpret the data received from the board. And here in the code pen editor, I can open a console. And as you can see, I have here the constant stream of data that the app receives from the board. And I know that this data is light sensor and the temperature. I will try to catch a little bit of it like this. It still flows, so it's a bit harder. And now my prompt looks like this. Calliop mini board sends data to the app from the light sensor and the temperature. Values from the light sensor have the label X. Display it in the app with a slider and a number value. Here is the example of data received. And I simply pasted here this little bit of data that I copied from the console from, the, from CodePen. And let's check it out. So now his task is a bit more complex. He has to understand how the data is being formatted and then display it live in, in our app. Okay, we have full code here. Let's paste it in the code pen. I will hide the console by now. And here I have the light level section. Let's connect again. And as you can see, it works, okay. When I cover the LED display, which works as a light sensor in the Kaliap mini board, the value here changes accordingly. He even had this little sun emoji uh, for some visual aesthetics. Okay, so right now we were lucky and everything works quite seamlessly for us. Uh, maybe it's because I tested these prompts before I started recording this lesson. But if at any time you have any problems with what we are doing here, what the code created by the chatbot and your app doesn't work, uh, what you can do is you can open the console in the code pen editor and any error uh, generated by the code should appear here in this console it might be hidden a little bit by all, all this data received from the application. But if you find the error command, you can simply paste it again to the chatbot and ask him what's wrong with this code? Why doesn't it work? Uh, try to fix it. And he should come up with a solution for this. And also that is what, why coding with a chatbot uh, is so fantastic because it's not as basic like code generating machine, but this is more like a human interface where, where we can openly talk and ask anything about the project that we are creating and he will explain anything to us. So uh, it's more like working with a super smart friend who knows everything about coding and at any point he can explain anything uh, to us. And I think I will stop with this dashboard example uh, at this level. We already made uh, some small steps and I think you have an idea how to go forward from this and you can do whatever you want. But there is one nice feature in the code pen editor I would like to show you is the fact that because I am already logged in and I have created my project here, so that my website is already uploaded online and I can access it from any other device. So if I save it and now switch to the full page uh, view. And now it's a very useful trick how to open this website on your smartphone, on your mobile device. I simply click uh, right, right mouse button anywhere on the web page and use this option, open, uh, create QR code connected with this website. And I have this QR code. I simply scan it with my smartphone. And now I have this uh, link scanned. So it's, and I can open this app on my mobile device and I have it previewed over here. And here I can simply click connect to the Calliope mini board. And my app is previewed here on the on my old mobile device. Just remember to open the links in Chrome web browser or a mobile Opera. It won't work on Safari. On iOS, you would have to open it in the BlueFi web browser. Okay, so let's wrap it up all a bit. Let's try to do one last exercise. And now I will try to start again from the template 
I started before and I will try to create this keypad interface to open the door with a key lock in my smart home. Let's start again from scratch. In CodePen I create a new project. I create pen, new pen and here I have the, the browser. I don't need CSS and JavaScript windows here. I only need HTML and the preview. In the chatbot I start a new chat. And to simplify the technical details again, I will give him my template. And then let's try this prompt. Take a look at the template code of a web app to control Calliope Mini board. Use it to create another web app which has a keypad interface that allows to type in four digit key code and send it to Calliope Mini. Make the interface responsive for mobile devices. Let's try it. I have my code generated. I paste it into the code pen. Okay, and I have a keypad interface and here is the connect button. And let's, let's test it. Remember, before you connect, uh, disconnect all other applications that still use the, uh, that occupy the connection for the Calliope mini board. You see that I have still the happy face. So, so when I click connect, nothing, the board will not be discoverable here until I disconnect from my app over here. And now you can see the, the board is available. I click connect and let's get back for a second to the example code I used for the for this project and here here at the bottom you could see that I had my condition if data is 1397 that was my key code it's hard coded into the Calliope Mini right now uh, this 1397 opens the gate and 0000, 000, 000 uh, closes uh, the door so let's Check if it works. One, three, nine, seven. Okay. Okay, the door was already opened, so it only played the model, but let's test closing it. Zero, zero, zero. It closed. Let's open it again. One, three, nine, seven. So yeah, my keypad interface, my keypad app works in one go. I can again, Save it here, open it in full page, share it with a QR code, I scan it with my, mo with my smartphone, open it on my smartphone, let's check it if it's actually responsive and if it works on my telephone. Let's connect to the Calliope mini board. Uh, and since the door is already opened, so let's type Zero, zero, zero to close it. Okay, and it closes. One, three, nine, seven. Okay, and it opens. So uh, the app works on my desktop, it works on my mobile device, and uh, I think it's a great start for some further exploration. What mobile apps can you create with the help of an AI chatbot?